host of Bon Jovi, and I am a singing coach, artist developer, musician, performer, songwriter, mother, and therapist to 60 some odd students that come through this door every day. Welcome to my studio. I've been married for about 17 years. He's a wonderful man, puts up with my nutsiness. I have a daughter who's 28. I have a dog, his name is Boozer. I have two goldfish that I don't want, but my daughter left them when she moved out. Jana is the uh, junior teacher. She gets me on so many levels. Our relationship is so odd, but it works. You want to show him blowing up? I don't think I give it to him. No, that's that's the wrong lyrics. It's hands on, it's knowing how to read people, it's how to be creative. She definitely is an amazing asset. Jody Joseph Music, this is Lois. How can I help you? I am Lois Chick and I work for Jody in the studio. Lois is She challenges that's she can be dramatic. If you don't do these things, I'm going to give him your cell phone. I can't do these things. A lot of times I have to talk to her and she's just too busy to talk to me. Please call back today or tomorrow night. If you don't, then you're going to miss a deadline, okay? Why should I be doing that? Why should I be doing because that? Because I pay you to do it. The, the greatest expression that we always say is Lois is Lois. The average day runs from about 3 until about 8, but I'm always behind. If it's a day where we're double booked on students, I'm up and down these stairs constantly. Cleaning up, getting dinner ready. She's trying to eat lunch, I'm answering a phone call. There's so many things coming at me. By the time we're done, we're both fried completely. I'm just on clipping, I'm still singing. Truly taught us to love. Okay. okay. Can you do it? Yeah, I'll try. You dig me? I dig you. Yeah. Okay. Well, the first part is them feeling comfortable enough to even sing in front of me. I have a lot of very funny ways in which to teach. In order for you to be engaged, it has to be a little bit crazy. With this killer, stellar, amazing voice that you have, you've neglected the one important element. You, you neglected the story. What was the biggest mistake and the only one that you made? I don't think about the lyrics and I didn't. All right, now, maestro. Yeah. Watch. Okay. Learn. Okay. You can go sobby. <laughs> After that, then, I'll introduce the song. Usually, it's something they haven't heard. I'll tell Jody all the time, like, no, I'm not doing that song. That's not happening. What are you going to say? I'm not going to say it. No, just say I'm it. I'm not playing it. If that's what you're going to say, gonna, I'm not playing it. such a brat. I can't stand you. The song that I go after is something that never would be too far of a reach, but challenging enough to help them grow. Oh, is such an important thing because that's where your confidence is created. That's the hardest thing. I mean, you can sing, but when I say, okay, now you gotta get up and you gotta actually act it out. Oh, yeah. oh. Hold a cup of coffee. Okay. Don't feel like you have to hold the mic stand with both hands. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Because what happens is that becomes the crutch. I was in a car accident when I was one, and I am partially paralyzed on my right side of my body. Gianna is afraid of giving everything that she has in her. When you act, do you use your hands? My one hand. Okay, so I want to see that. The Stone Pony, it's kind of become like my second home. It's pretty cool. I mean, the, there are so many like legends that I've sang on those stages. It's a little nerve-wracking when you perform at those kind of bars, I guess. Performing really takes my mind off of anything that's going on. I end up getting set right there on stage, and that's all I think about. She really disciplines me. It's been one of the hardest challenges that I've put on their plates, and yet so rewarding. 
they're singing, they're performing out, and then comes the songwriting. I wouldn't do that as the chorus, and I would go like and just do two lines and then escalate it up one more step. Do you You're playing with your face, that means you don't like it. When Jody makes like big changes to my song, it's kind of like I don't want her to you know, touch them because I've been singing this song in my room for a week now and it's kind of set in stone. Like, how are you going to change that for me? I get it. It's hard to take criticism when it's creative. She comes up with things so quick, so I'll say something and then she'll just go in her zone. Well, first I have to clean it up a little bit and we go line for line. And then comes the digging. Well, definitely my first song. It's very personal to me because it's about my parents' divorce. I couldn't get out what I wanted to say. And then when I told Jody, she said, okay, well, why don't we write a song about that? But you have to know, you know, there's that balance. And they'll usually tell you, you know, no, I don't want to talk about it. I broke down a couple of times writing a song with her. She's pushed me further than I've wanted to go sometimes, and that's helped me reach next levels. At the end of that journey is this great healing moment. I stop a lot and I put down the teacher role for a second. I have this little sitting area and I just sit with them. I grew up with a single mom. I had to help raise my younger brother. So those things that I felt like I couldn't talk about to anybody, she was the person I would convey them to. I'll get somebody starting a lesson and then just break down and start crying. I feel the need not to tell her some things, but then I'm like, oh, I gotta do it, I gotta do it, and then it just comes out. That's when I say, okay, now I know. How about this song? Let's use this song, because it, it matches whatever mood they're in. Why would you want a conventional teacher when you can have somebody that can mentor you? One of the ingredients that they miss in their lives is family and faith. When you bring family, faith, confidence, and music together, you got healing happening. The greatest thing about what I do is that no day is the same. No student is the same. It's so exciting to have someone else walk through that door and have the opportunity to work with them to see what they're going to bring and how I can help them. And when I lay myself down at the end of the night, all I can hear is God saying, well done. I love it and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the entire world. It's a long way.